Who's playing? What, what, what's the workout? I go and I look at <laughs> he did 10 times 2K the day before. What happened? <laughs> Nothing. The joke is that I'm doing Christian's training the day after he's doing it all. Mm -hmm. And no word of a lie, I, I had programmed five, by seven, 5 to 7 times 2K for today for the session. Pretty well, pure LT2 session. And then last night before bed, I do my play solitaire and creep uh, Strava and uh, Christian had done 10 times 2k the day before <laughs> so even in my mind when I'm programming the sessions I'm still well below Christian even in my own mind because <laughs> you had five to seven because I only had five to seven program for myself <laughs> so now are you gonna do 10 heck no no seven's probably stupid and excessive I don't know how many I should do I feel pretty good right now and I like the stress. You, you gotta train where you are. You can't train where you wanna be, you know? Yeah, I'd love to be there. I'd love to be at 8,000 feet doing 6.30 for 2K, 10 rounds with one minute rest. That, that would be awesome. Am I there? No, I mean, come on. That's, at some point you got to start to- I do know what you have more train of. Train where you are. You know what you have that Christian doesn't? What do I have? Sunscreen. I've got plenty of sunscreen, that's for certain. Yep. All right, you ready for the run? <clears throat> I learned this on the Tour de France. This is dudes. Saw this on TV. I mean, your coach told you, Chad. Um, I never asked the coach about this. Mm. Yeah. But anyhow, it'll probably last about five minutes, but at least I, it'll prolong my core. My core hasn't even been a problem. <laughs> like it's not, I'm not overheated a single buck, like not even close. All right, we'll see you on the first rep. All right, let's watch that boy. He's yeah, like I'm watching him. Outside kind of. It's windy today. Crazy windy today. This was almost as windy as my 70.3 here. I thought. Eh, maybe. It's on. You're gonna go 1K out, 1K back? Yeah. It's windy, man. It's like 10, almost 15 seconds per kilometer slower on oh. the way out. More. 330 for the first K and then back in like 308. You have a tailwind coming back, right? Yep. You want another one after this one? Yep. Okay. Going out. Three, two, three. Well, you're the best. Bert, you're okay, but D, <laughs> D's got that down. <laughs> I can only imagine. Hey, baby. Hi. He probably just had a good fall out of the car. Did ya? You? you okay, pal? He didn't even make a peek. Yeah, it's coming down. Oh, that always happens. Doing about 90 seconds rest, so a, nice, a little progression. I done my last time. I did two Ks. I did them on two minutes. This time I'm doing them on 90. Wind getting any easier? It's insane. Yeah. On the way out. Insane. I don't want to push this session too hard just because it's not really like it's a piece of the puzzle. Like right now, my heart rate is where my heart rate will be in the marathon. You know what I mean? In the 140s. So it's giving me the cardiac stress of the race in running. I would assume it's high now. 
Because you push the pace or no, what? No, I'm slowing down and it's getting harder. <sighs> the conditions. Each hour I dehydrate as well. You want it too? Yeah. Yep. 2.5. Exactly. So that means you back off the pace a little? It's right within the zone, but I would probably back off because I'd rather be at 2.2. Probably about 650 now, 325. This is why you don't train in the heat like this. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Like you're not even at a good 70.3 race pace and you're at LT2. You know what I mean? You're not even at a good, that's like a 111 or a 112, 70.3. So should you have done this workout inside? I hate the treadmill though for, for this quality. You know what I mean? Is your heart rate going up each interval too? <laughs> yeah, I'm at 150 now. <coughs> go, go, go. How many was that? That was six. Can you go one more? At least one more. I don't know how many I should do. I feel pretty good right now. I don't like the stress. I mean, one more lactate. I mean. It's not going to go anywhere at, at this exact. It had to do probably two more. I, will, I would say you should do one more and just call it good. Keep your I like legs the stress, first. though, you know? But why push it? All right, last one right here, number seven. Coming in with it. Coming in with it. I feel pretty good. Um, I, I'm going to do a pure good. LT1 set for my next run, no LT2. So we're gonna be 10, we're gonna be like seven, eight days until the next LT2 session. I'd say max one more. Nice. All right. Rep number eight, extra credit. Here we are. This play's not overdoing it. Nine. Okay, new mantra. Mm -hmm. Better to leave your session mm -hmm. wondering if you trained hard enough than to leave it knowing you trained too hard. <laughs> so we're gonna go do some LT1? No, cool down. Unless you think I should. What do you guys think? I think I would I need think, some more. Let's, right let's, let's race on October 26th. I'm at an hour 25. Of running. Levi, Levi, keep that in the car, please. Thank you. Look at the goats. Look at it. your baby. Let's, let's race on the 26. Do you feel like you need something more? I mean, what's the point in training? Like, yeah. Like, if if if, if pushing didn't do anything, then no one would train, and we'd just all go race. So I don't think that you should be afraid to train either, though. Yeah, I, I feel, I feel pretty good. How's your fuel? How's your gut? How's all fine, that? Fine, everything's fine. This is when it would be nice to have uh, a coach. <laughs> this moment, have an Olav here. Do you know what I mean? Well, this well, is when it would be nice, if I'm being honest. Yeah. In a situation like this, or at least a Christian. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Well, Christian would push one more and Gustav would be done. Yeah, I, I just mean, I don't, I mean to bounce ideas off of. Yeah. We could ask Jan. That's where the problem is. Hey, Jan. Come here. Let me ask you something real quick. Roto. Roto. I see Jan right there. He ain't He's... even giving us the time of day. Yeah, he ain't. Wow. Okay, I see how it is, pal. I see how it is. Uh, Let's cool down. Cool down? I'm in I'm in favor of a cool down. We got plenty more days ahead. Okay, okay. I'm gonna listen to you guys. The uh, even mantra, even the, even the comment section would say cool down. Another mantra is better to train a little less and absorb it than train a little more and not absorb it. We'll ask Christian in the comments what would he have done. <laughs> I know I, I thought it would be funny if you called Christian right now. In my uh, thing and asked him. <laughs> On your next LT2 session, we'll do that. Alright, I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, we'll go back to the house. Yeah. Thanks. 
into the session on to the recovery phase and a pretty big swim tonight and it's hot out here in the lava tell me up oh oh on your sweat and what is the point that's of this? what i'm talking about get your core down as fast as you possibly can begin the recovery process instead of sitting here baking in your uh 100.5 degree core so tomorrow you won't take a full recovery day you'll <sighs> take a active recovery day I call it an easy day an easy day yeah probably i'm thinking 90 minutes on the bike hour swim half hour run and then long ride the next day long run the next day and then we'll go from there see what the body needs You a Sam Long fan? Pardon? Are you a big Sam Long fan? Yeah, yeah. I watch all, I watch everybody's videos. <laughs> I'm a big YouTube fan. Whose videos do you not watch? I mean, really, the only thing I avoid in the whole triathlon sphere is pro tri news. Really, that's about it. Such bullshit going on in there. Not a single pro on the panel talking about nothing. Acting like they got insight into Acting them. like they got insight into anything. They don't. <laughs> Tune into the next episode. I'll be on it. We're going to warm up, do my standard warm up. And then it's either going to be, I'm pretty caught, yeah, we're, we're gonna do quality. And it's either gonna be three rounds of 1050s, LT2 plus or VO2 or whatever you wanna call them, or 12 200s, LT2, which you, I need to be going 235. 235 or better on those with 25 seconds. So leaving on three. And you'll make that decision after warm up? I'll, I'll make it, a, I'll know in my LT2 little piece in my standard warm up. But this pool is going to be closed for two days on Wednesday and Thursday, meaning I can do an LT1 set in the open water. So we're going to have to call on Caden to come out here. Yeah, we'll get him out there for that, for that uh, open water for sure, that open water set. 10 400s because i know you only got one in you so i'll get one out of you and nine out of kate <laughs> that'd make a good set actually i think we should do that actually on uh thursday all right that exact set 10 400s on the beach we'll take the lactate a couple times too 10 400s yeah to that buoy and back to the beach it's about it's pretty well 400 yesterday if swim. you gave me a three minute head start do you think i could tie you three minutes. I'm going to swim that 400 open water at LT1 in probably 540-ish. And you're going to swim it in all out. Are you swimming them all out? Yeah. I mean, you're a pretty good swimmer, so you, you'll probably swim like 130, 135? No, 140. So I would put only a minute into you probably in a 400. All right, we'll do it. Thursday, Caden, come out. All right. Well, it's kind of like... Racing an LT1 set's kind of dumb. Because I'm going to want to beat you. You know? <laughs> then you can give me uh, my start smaller. I'll give you one minute so that I swim my proper thing if you swim good. How you feel? Good. Which one did you go with? I'm on 6.2s at the moment. You got... 2.7. Yeah. Okay, I slowed down a little. I was, like I said, I think 235. I'm hitting 233s. So I'm at the top end. I think I'll slow down to 234s. Right. For me, this is good swimming, so. 
No, we just went with it. This is the more dreadful. Of I the thought sets. people say, oh, just in the pool, just suck it up and go hard. Yeah, but then you become inefficient. Use it frequently. And, anyways, to, um, I guess, comment on your, your comment of. So you need people, to swim harder. People say you should just swim harder. Well, you have to remember that we're in actually a double negative problem in that you're losing five minutes to laid low and you're doing it more inefficiently than he's doing it. <laughs> so you're at a double negative, which is why guys like me typically look horrible on the final five to 10K. Because, you know, if we use laid low as the example, I wouldn't be surprised if he's swimming 10 seconds per hundred quicker than I just did for the same set at less, less carb burn to do it. So that's cool, no problem. You could, and you get away with it in shorter stuff. But in Ironman, energy is the key. Energy is what makes you still function <laughs> the final 10K. And it's why typically you don't see anymore in this modern era, dudes who can't swim do well. <laughs> Cause there's no energy. Cause you burned, you know, swimming is pretty well all onboard glycogen aside from the maybe gel you take before. And so if you're losing five minutes, but then also doing it at a higher carb burn rate, then that's, let's say, 100 grams of muscle glycogen that you don't have, and you also lost five minutes. <laughs> so what, 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 what happens to you? Well, you walk the final 5K, or the 10, or if you're me, the final 16K. So it's better Too much talking, not enough swimming. That's the end of that. That's the end of that ramble. This video is already 45 minutes long. This video will be a long one. Oh, but you have, to, you have to open the scene. Okay, everybody act natural. Okay. Everybody act natural to the camera. Yeah. Well, I'll just start eating. <laughs> you can't do the camera like it's like we're not here. <laughs> the real, the real question is, are you right? Are we going to show one of our dance parties? One of the most requested no, things is to see what you're yeah, eating yeah. for dinner. There ain't nothing processed there, is there? Or is this, these are man-made vegetables. <laughs> what about the, uh, you're drinking all natural apple juice? Man-made chicken. Let's just get this out of here. Oh yeah, crap, sorry. What, the apple juice? What's wrong with the apple juice? There was also another request I that someone said <laughs> that they're waiting to see you and I go get fast food. Yeah, we can't afford it. Unfortunately, <laughs> spent all our money on the Costco trip. With a 25 pound bag of rice. <laughs> we are eating rice, chicken, and broccoli for every meal until the race. <laughs> but actually though, we've been doing, I would say by my standards, this is some of the best eating I've ever done. I would say, yeah. And uh, can you, and who's the chef? Aaron, for the most part. All the meals cooked? Calvert was uh, making the uh, chicken on the grill, but the guy can't figure out how to turn the grill on, so. <laughs> <laughs> the grill is a a bit hard to operate, but we're getting there. <laughs> All right, no vlog tomorrow. Everyone enjoy. Boring. I only got four hour bike and a two hour easy run. Tell it. Why don't you pan the camera to your plate? Yeah. Oh, hey, look at that. Go. Just what do you think about that, pal? <laughs> no, no greens smothered in sauce. <laughs> I'm not getting any greens because I'm trying to leave them all for Lionel. Okay, In Laura Jean's plate. <laughs> Wait, Laura Jean's plate. We have Noah's plate and Levi's plate. There Levi we go. What about my plate? Oh, we already plate. got yours. You did? Oh yeah. Well, this is the vegetarian plate. Yeah. And what is it? Oh, mine is noodles with some uh, fresh mozzarella and tempeh and sautéed veg. So it looks like out of all these plates, I have the healthiest. <sighs>